folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome back to 100 Great Action Dexterity Games. And we've been going through these in alphabetical order, just talking about some fantastic games that are fun to play for kids, for adults. Today we're taking a look at one letter, and that letter is the letter S. So let's get started with one of the most unique dexterity games out there, San Franito. You probably should watch my full review for this one, just because of how unique and interesting this game is. It's a flicking game where you're flicking these discs onto a board, but where you flick them is going to give you actions of buying and selling different spices from India. The idea of this is so bizarre in a sense, but it's, it's like an economic game, but you're also flicking discs around, and I really think it's a fantastic game. It's that, that combination of flicking and economic back and forth selling I really enjoy that one a lot. Uh, then we have Shootles. This is a really weird game uh, in which you're pouring a bunch of people out of a, a bottle, <laughs> a, a cup. You're essentially going to pour a number out, and whatever number you pour out is going to give you an action. And it's kind of like um, gambling in a sense, because if you pour out just a few, you're going to lose some money. If you pour out all of them, you lose some money. But any number in between, different things will happen. You can uh, put a, a token on the board and later on pull it off and get some money. Um, when you put a two, when you only drop two guys, you put some money in the middle of the board and when someone rolls a certain number, they get all that money. So it's just, it's entertaining and it's as easy as it is to, to drop some pawns out. You think that might be a really easy thing to do. It's not. Um, and it's just an entertaining game to play. I wish the component quality was better, but it's a lot of fun. Sorry Sliders. Sorry, sorry. There's actually multiple versions of Sorry Sliders. There's one that was based on the Cars franchise. But Sorry Sliders, the base game is you have the little Sorry Pawns from the game Sorry, but they have little marbles in them, and you're sliding them down. These these shoots, trying to get them in the middle. It's very similar to Shuffleboard. It's like a poor man's uh, crocodile, actually, as you're trying to hit a hole in the middle, and then you have the target, and where you land there gets you points. It works really well. The pieces are kind of a little wibbly wobbly because they're pawns that can fall over at any given point. I like it a lot. Space Cadets. Now this game doesn't have dexterity in all of it, but part of it is dexterity. In Space Cadets, it's a cooperative game. Each person is on a spaceship trying to keep the spaceship running well, and you each have different things. Some people are doing little memory match games, some people are doing Tetris things, but one person is a, the gunner, and they're flicking discs and trying to shoot things as they uh, play the game. It's a lot of fun. Um, this game is a bear to teach. There's a lot of different spots on the board to teach to people, but the, uh, I like being the gunner the best because I like the, the dexterity element. Spaghetti. Spaghetti is a game of, uh, well, spaghetti. You have a bunch of noodles. They're uh, different, um, like, yarn things, and you're going to be, or, or I guess more like shoestrings, and you're going to be pulling them out without making the meatballs on a spaghetti fall and roll off the table. So it's a dexterity game, just pulling the different noodles out and getting points for them and getting combos of these uh, different color noodles for cards that give you more points. Spinball. This is a game I don't have, but I, oh, it's such a neat game. In this game, you have kind of like a little paddle, almost like a paintbrush type piece, and a, and a ping pong ball. And you're going to press against that ball and spin it. And it, you reverse spin it, so it will go forward. And if you spin it just right, it will go in a certain direction and go the other way. And that's what you're trying to do. You're going around the piece in the middle and trying to score points in your opponent's goal. It is hard to figure out how to do it. But once you get it down, you can do some really neat shots. And this is another one of those big games, like really big games. Uh, ping pong table size almost. But man, when you play this, it's such a neat experience. If you go to a convention, it has it. I recommend that you try it out. Spinderella. Spinderella comes with, uh, well, spiders. I'm not usually a big fan of spiders, but these spiders are hanging from the strings and you're moving some pieces on top to, and, and you have these, you have your own little ants that are running around, but you, if you get a certain spot, you can make that spider drop and grab the ant with a magnetic pull. It's really a cool idea. And knowing where to move the spiders, on, pieces on top to drop those spiders down is, is a pretty nifty idea for kids to kind of grasp this idea. If I move this spider here, it will move the string this way. If I move the spider here, it will move the string up and down. That's some pretty neat stuff. Spooky Castle. This is a cooperative dexterity game where you're trying to, one person has a stick with a magnet on and they're moving it around trying to capture different pieces on the board, but they're blindfolded and everyone else is telling them what to do, but you're also trying to avoid ghosts that are on the board. So you have this stick and you're moving it around and trying to get the right pieces. It just comes together and works really well. Um, 
Stack a Diddy. This is a weird little stacking game where those the each you have a bunch of different pieces and they have different lines on them. You're going to be rolling dice and it's going to tell you where to put special Diddy pieces or stack a Biddy. I'm sorry, Biddy little Biddy pieces, and you're going to be stacking them in different spots on the board. And you have to figure out the best way because the lines always must match. And so you're moving the pieces, flipping them, trying to figure out the right way to stack things. I, I like it a lot. Stick Stack is another one of those games where you're putting sticks on top of kind of a wibbly wobbly thing. There's a lot of games that have this wibbly wobbly thing, but you're placing them and the sticks are like kind of holding each other in place and there's different colors that can only touch other colors of the same thing. It has a really nice visual look to it. And if you like that whole, oh, am I gonna make things fall over? You'll like it. Sticky Chameleons. This is a game where you have those sticky things, you know, the ones you throw in a wall. You have these sticky chameleons with this, this tail essentially and when you say go you're going to be trying to grab pieces on the board you're going to be throwing your chameleon it's going to go in there and grab a piece what makes the game really interesting is someone else might grab a piece and i can hit their piece sometimes in mid-air and steal it from them it's it's hilarious it's kind of a one note game right <laughs> grab it and you're like oh okay that was fun let's play something else but it is fun and unique for sure sumo ham slam here you have little sumo figures on the board and you're gonna be feeding them discs that weigh them down and eventually you have to, you'll fight each other and try to knock the other person down. But if you have fed them enough discs, they're gonna be harder to fall over. Really silly theme, right? And kind of a silly game, but so are most of the games in this list, but silly does not always mean bad, it's fun. And finally, the last S game, Super Vampire. This is a game where you're gonna be moving Vampire around on top of a uh, this structure, there's like the little, you're on a rafters, you're up on the rafters and you have a little vampire finger that you're gonna be moving it around with, trying to avoid garlic pieces up there and go to different goals. It's harder than you think, it's easy to knock them off. When you knock them off, you have to start over again. So essentially you're just kind of pushing an object around, trying not to make it fall off. Really great game for kids. All right, well, we got one more of these left. I hope you've been enjoying these, finding maybe some games you've never heard of before. 100 great action dexterity games. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.